came and said government cave and uh, craters of the moon. I'm near the upper end. Notice I said near. So I'm at the bottom of the second ladder. The one that's held by a sketchy rope. Oh boy. If you're afraid of heights, you might want to skip this cave. It's a little suspect. Because that ladder is being only held in place by that one rope. The rope is wrapped around a boulder pretty well. It held my weight pretty well, but still, it's free to move around a little bit. It's a little bit creepy. But anyway, yeah, so I'm totally ready to head back now. I didn't realize this cave was going to be so long. But anyway, such an awesome cave. So many mineral deposits for a lava tube. Let me make this aperture a little smaller here. So it's F over 4.5 here. Look at that, it's like an inch layer thick of minerals on the wall. Hey, that'd be like a sequel to 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 millimeters of minerals on the wall. All right, I wonder if that song's still under copyright. Heaven forbid I break copyright. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the aperture back to F over 1.8. So I wanna pan up. You can see the ceiling here. God, wow, that's gotta be at least 50 feet tall. Maybe 75 feet tall. Just very, very tall. Which, I'm in the middle level of the cave now. And so it's interesting. So at the entrance, it seems like it's at the top of a hill, but from the entrance, you go way, way, way down to the tube. Oops, I need to show you something. So look at that, those poke marks, those are from Prince, uh, water impact. The point is, try to find the trail. See, there's a trail over here. So I'm gonna walk over here so I don't damage those. But yeah, so from the entrance to this cave, you walk down to the bottom level, the big three-way intersection. And then at the three-way intersection, you could turn right, which if you don't wanna do a bunch of crawling is a dead end. I didn't feel like doing a bunch of crawling, so I skipped that. But if you turn left, keep going. There's one crawl, but it's super easy. They literally have like a carpet down so you can crawl on the carpet. And then it comes this way and there's the ladders. And it's really, really long. It's a really cool cave. I mean, if I lived around here, I would definitely come back to this cave multiple times, take a ton of pictures, more videos. I wanna get a wider Langle lens, Langle lens because look at the colors here on this wall. Yeah, so this is a 60 millimeter lens on a 35 millimeter sensor. So it's like 2X zoom. It's kind of too much magnification to be doing this, but it's perfect for trains. I shoot a lot of train videos too. But yeah, my next camera, I'll either get a zoom lens or maybe I'll get a normal 35 millimeter lens or maybe I'll get kind of wide angle, like 18 millimeter. Not super crazy like with a GoPro. I've kind of gotten used to GoPro, but a lot of people hate my GoPro videos because they're too wide. I see their point. When I first got my GoPro, I didn't like it, but I've kind of grown accustomed to it. I do wish somebody would make a camera just like a GoPro, but with a 1X lens, just 35 millimeter equivalent. They probably have cell phones like that. My cell phone actually has a pretty good camera, but my cell phone has lousy battery life, etc. I like to have my, uh, these cameras have extra batteries, like half a dozen batteries, and then a huge memory card, terabyte memory card. So I can basically shoot all day for weeks on end. Except for Disneyland, when I went to Disneyland, I pretty much filled up a memory card in a week, but that's another story. But Disneyland just nonstop fun. Around here, it's like, have some fun, drive an hour to the next fun. Have some more fun, drive an hour to the next fun. So unless you wanna get video of the driving, there's a lot of pauses between videos. It is pretty out here, but I don't think my driving videos would be that interesting. I used to shoot driving videos, nobody cared. <laughs> so when I got my new car, I didn't do it anymore because the new car's not as smooth. The older car had really good suspension. My newer car is a kind of not so nice suspension. All right. There's no obvious trail through here. I'm trying to stay on the trail. But. See, so there's like breakdown pile and the rock in the middle, kind of a trail on the left. But the main trail is obviously to the right. So I'm gonna stay to the right. 
do my best to localize the wear and tear on the floor. Now all of a sudden it's darker. Look, there's a little hole in the wall there. Pretty. Notice how we're definitely going downhill. I'm gonna keep my eyes out. There's one spot ahead where we go back uphill for some reason. Or, my, or did I remember it backwards? I'm gonna keep my eyes out for that. Most of this cave is walking. Physically, it's an easy cave. Except, so look at that. Here's the first ladder. Now I'm going back down to lower level. Like I said, I did climb up shooting video, but I really don't think that's safe to try to climb back down. So I'm gonna have to pause the video. So I'll go back to you in a minute.